Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at GetBusyGardening.com. We're going to go to three different websites today talking about plants that deer hate. Deer-resistant plants. Oh boy, I tell you, I've been gardening for quite a few years and deer are my nemesis. They love to eat almost everything, but there are some plants that they just do not enjoy. Now the way the first two sites are laid out, they got a list of plants that deer love to eat. And I'll tell you, broccoli, cabbage, oh, cauliflower, they love cabbage and broccoli and cauliflowers. Lettuces, kale, very true. Oh, can't get enough of that. Um, now a lot of these are not food crops, and I, you know, I specifically look at food crops. Now I've been told hostas are edible, I've never tried them myself. Um, but these plants here are what you want to avoid if uh, you have a ton of deer pressure in your garden. Now here, these are plants that deer do not like to eat. Well, really what they say, what makes plants resistant, look for plants that repel deer, or that they don't like to eat, or they're rarely eaten. Maybe plants that are poisonous to deer, and plants that deer can't eat, like root crops, beets, radishes, carrots, and other root crops. Now, for the deer around me, they will eat beet tops, and they'll eat them down to the beet. And because of that, it'll pretty much prevent the bee from growing. Radishes, they don't seem to touch them hardly at all. Carrots, they'll usually let carrots grow for a while. And then eventually, if they run out of other food sources, they'll eat the carrot tops. But by then, usually the carrots will have grown for a little bit of time. Um, root and potatoes, they don't seem to like them too much. They might nibble at the tips here and there, but not too bad. Now, they do talk about, well, here, these are a list of... Uh, Flowers, basically, deer resistant shrubs and perennials. We won't go necessarily near those um, because, again, focus on food mostly. Deer resistant annuals. Now they say resistant sunflower. Boy, I, they, I can't really grow sunflowers. They love just eating the tops off of sunflowers, and it stunts the heck out of them. Now they don't seem to like marigold or zinnias, and you can eat those as well. Zinnia is actually very bitter, though, so <laughs> usually you'd have to mix it with a lot of other stuff. Now deer-resistant vegetables, a lot of these I found are pretty accurate, with the exception of pumpkins. They do seem to like to nibble at pumpkins every now and again, uh, and tomatoes. Oh boy, they love eating tomatoes. At least the deer around me. Other parts of the country, maybe not. Peppers, they'll eat the tops of the leaves, but Usually you'll still be able to get a pepper harvest. With tomatoes, though, they'll just kill almost the entire plant. Um, eggplants, they s seem to leave eggplants alone. Uh, again, we talked about beets and potatoes. Okra, yeah, they don't seem to bother okra too much. And onions and garlic, no, they seem to ignore those. Same with squash and zucchinis and cucumber rhubarb. So a lot of this list seems to be accurate based on my experience. And deer-resistant herbs, also pretty accurate. They never seem to touch the basil or oregano or parsley or thyme or sage that I've grown, or lemon balm for that matter. I've also grown lavender. They don't seem to touch that. And cilantro, they kind of, they'll touch it every now and again. Um, fennel, no, they never touch fennel, it seems like, or mint. So the, and dill, they seem to leave dill alone as well. So this list also seems to be fairly accurate. They talk about tips to keep the deer out of the garden uh, using spray repellent. I haven't had much luck with that. Protective primer, I've tried uh, surrounding a garden with garlic, you know, which is a very pungent smell. Um, and it didn't seem to do much to repel the deer. Maybe if you interplant and just, you know, surround individual plants with garlics and, or basil, it seems to help a little bit, you know, like growing basil and tomatoes together. Those two plants love growing together, and the basil keeps the deer away a little bit because mostly. You know, deer navigate through their sense of smell, and basil will just confuse them, or other very pungent plants. And I'm going to link to this article in the description. I'm going to glance through a couple of other articles that I found. This one's at gardeningknowhow.com. And uh, they have a similar list, deer, edible plants that deer love. They didn't mention apples or beans on the previous list. They do say that beets love them. Again, they, they really do, especially the tops. Um... One thing, one reason why I'm going to be including this link in the description is because you can click on these links of plants and they have a growing guide for each of these crops. That's great. And yeah, and they do love the sweet potato tops. Oh boy, do they love those sweet potato tops. And again, they have the list of plants that the deer don't like to eat. It's very similar to the other list. Won't go over them all. Um, 
So that link will be in the description. And the third link I'll be including in the description, a state-by-state -state guide to deer-resistant plants. So if you live in America, then you can go to this page and it'll have a link for each individual state. And a lot of these are university extension programs. If you don't know, university extension programs are a great resource for how to grow food or any plants in your area. Um, odds are, if you're in America or even overseas, there's going to be a, a, at least one agricultural college in your area, hopefully. Look it up, see if they have an extension program. That's sort of a program for the public. You don't have to be enrolled, you don't have to pay anything, usually. Sometimes they'll sell some reports, but a lot of their stuff is free. And, uh, you know, I think Department of Natural Resources, some states will have that. Better Homes and Gardens. There's lots of different resources here. If you're outside of the United States, look for a state that has a similar climate to yours because, oof, I mean, America has a, a bit of every single climate from tundra, uh, uh, Arctic conditions of Alaska to tropical conditions of Hawaii or Florida, uh, desert conditions of Arizona. And, you know, there's lots of different deer that live in the different areas. I think um, Sitka deer or small deer in Alaska and mule deer are in the more desert areas, uh, the white-tailed deer of the Midwest. They all have similar diets, similar, you know, biology, but they have a little different diets depending on what plants are available. <laughs> As a rule of thumb, if a deer is hungry enough, it's going to eat nearly anything. And if you can build a 10-foot fence that is impregnable that's probably your best bet but again it has to be about 10 feet high because boy those deer can jump so again i'm going to link all three of these articles in the description below and if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comments at the bottom of this video and if you want to learn more about living a more sustainable lifestyle from the grassroots up you know producing more of your own food more of your own energy please visit my website sustainabilitytheory.com I'll be happy to assist you in any way I can. And heck, leave a comment again if you have a specific question you want an answer to. Have a great day.